Hey guys, what's up? Easy is everything, where everything is easy. And I'm sorry I haven't uh, made a video in a really long time. I know I've been kind of inactive on YouTube. But um, what happened was, first I had final exams, then I had surgery, then I got really sick for a long time. And uh, then I was trying to uh, get a copy of Windows 7. And I finally ended up getting that. And uh, so, here it is. Fully activated and running in a virtual machine on my uh, Mac. So uh, let's get started with the uh, tutorial and up on the little history lesson where I've been. Alright, so uh, this is part one in the uh, series of how to create your own iPhone or iPod theme uh, for jailbreakable devices. For jailbreak devices. Um, we're going to go from start to finish. We're going to go from this first part setting up the uh, actual theme uh, sending up all the folders, getting down to the basics, and then we'll add on from there all the way to Photoshop skills and uploading it to Cydia. Uh, and I know actually two ways you can upload it to Cydia. Um, they're both the same, similar ways, but um, you'll understand what I mean when we get to that tutorial. So I'm going to try to release um, the second part as soon as I can. Um, hopefully one a day. That's the goal but uh, I'm not really too confident on that happening. But for the first tutorial, we're gonna put, we're gonna right click, make a new folder on our desktop here. This also works on Mac, um, obviously. So uh, you can use this on your Mac computer if you really want to. Um, but it is gonna be a little bit different actually uploading it to your device for testing before you actually upload it to say, uh, so, um, I'll be showing a Windows and Mac tutorial of that. So, uh, this first part, as you can see by the title, is for both Windows and Mac. And, uh, whenever there is a certain part where it's on, where it's Windows only or it's Mac only, I'll let you know in the title and in the description. So, I've created a new folder, and we're just going to rename that to Tutorial theme. Obviously you can call it whatever you want. You can always change it whenever you want <clears throat> to uh, fit your desire. Your, your desires. Go, on, go ahead and uh, go into that theme and we're going to make uh, a couple new folders. The first one is called Bundles. Um, now it does matter with the capitalization and the way that I spell it, the spaces, everything. We're going to add folders. This may not make too much sense to you. We're going to add in icons. <laughs> that should. Uh, UI images. Uh, the UI images, some people don't know about. First off, when you get a pop-up alert, if you have the uh, Will DTA theme, for example, which I have sh so we can kind of look back to it for a reference and see how they did things. It is the newest version currently. Um, uh, if you've noticed, whenever there's a pop-up, it has a certain background. It doesn't just have the normal pop-up. That's one use for the UI images. <clears throat> Another use that Will DTA used was an app icon mask, app icon overlay. So if he doesn't, if he does not have a certain icon in his icons folders, um, that icon will be given this mask. So it's really cool. Um, we'll be using that same uh, technique. Uh, it's not mandatory. I mean, all of these tutorials are up to you. I'm going to try to split it up as much as possible. There's probably going to end up being at least 10 tutorials on uh, every step. I'm going to try to completely divide it. And then there's going to be one more folder that most people don't show you how to do in their tutorials. That's going to be UI Sounds. <coughs> um, what this is, is for example, uh, one thing, iFusion HD has a UI Sounds. And, for example, every time you lock or unlock your device, it makes a noise, like a clicking noise. You can actually change this, and most people know about this. But, for example, in uh, iFusion, it's a paid theme, and it's also HD. I believe it's about $2. I can't remember. But uh, you will have to pay for it. Um, I did. Under UI Sounds, uh, there is a lock sound, or I'm going to be talking about the unlock so uh, you can name, it has to be a certain file type for the sort, and uh, one of the uh, tutorials um, I will be uploading is uh, how to put custom sounds in your uh, theme. 
So we'll be talking a lot more about this in that tutorial, but it has to be a certain file type for this to work. And it has to be a certain name, uh, not just like like these folders, not just a regular name or whatever you want to call it, it you expect it to work. It has to be a certain name so uh, the, the device can recognize what it is and what it's for. And whenever that action is called upon, uh, it can uh, trigger that sound. So for example, every time a uh, device is unlocked while iFusion is the active theme, it'll make this sound. Hold on a minute for it to load up. It'll make this sound. So, um, that's kind of the basics of UI sounds. And you can do anything from locking to unlocking to receiving an email, text messaging. I uh, will try to show you all those uh, names. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up just a few more folders, not on the main screen, but um, just things that we will guarantee uh, we'll, we will be using and adding on to. For a theme to be a theme, it <laughs> there's just no doubt. It will have a folder called com.apple.springboard. This is where some of the most important stuff goes and some of the most recognized things goes. To make it really a theme. To be a theme, you don't have to have a custom background and icons. That's not really a, a theme. A theme is a transformation of the entire device to make it custom in their own. Not just this another background and different icons. So, but um, most of those normal recognizable things, like for example a custom battery logo. Whenever you plug your device up to the computer and it pops up with that big battery on the screen, on the lock screen, you can change that and calm that Apple dot springboard. There's so many things that you can put in the springboard. So we're gonna make this new folder in bundles and call it com c o m dot apple dot springboard. And it should look like this. So that is how it will be uh, spelled has to be exactly like that or it will not work. And we're also going to go into our folders. What is a theme without custom sliders and without custom slider text? This is where both of those will go. So it's going to be Telephony, capital T, very important, capital U, capital I, dot framework. And I'll zoom in up on that as well. Right there. That's what it's going to look like. It has to be spelled that way or it will not function properly. And it will just completely be overlooked. That's just about it, guys. That is a basic setup of our uh, theme. And that does conclude part one. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to rate this video, comment if you have any questions or you would like to give some feedback. And, of course, subscribe to stay up to date and uh, be informed whenever the new part of this tutorial series is updated. Thank you guys, and remember, everything is easy.